Okay, folks, a uh, little bit of an update to the goat barn. As you can see, this is what I've got now. I've got a lounge and an awning area. And phase two is a milk room, and phase three is a kidding room. So I'm currently in the process of building out phase two, the milk room now, except for I've been mostly using still images to, just to kind of show the progress. Um, it was kind of cold in February when I started, and I've just gotten it wrapped up as the coronavirus. Uh, lockdowns are happening so bear with me I'll try to get some more video in the next couple of update videos so the cost for this project ended up being about 1483 for phase 2 phase 1 was about um, around $900 and I suspect phase 3 will be somewhere between six and nine hundred dollars So the first step of this phase is to get the floor joist built and set up and leveled and the decking installed. And I couldn't have done that without my friend's help. Thank you, Francis. And of course, the whole time that I'm out there working, the goats have to look at everything and be involved in everything you do. On the second day, I also had help standing up the back wall, which was going to be the hardest to stand up. It had to be done with the siding on it. Okay, then. Method I use if a wall will not comply with my orders due to uh, twisted 2x4s the bottom of this wall was against the edge the top was about three inches out and of course I could not push it in far enough to get it all the way up against but this end down here was fine so it's basically just where the lumber is twisted so uh, <laughs> this method works quick update on the goat barn this is actually the third day so the first day was spent uh, getting the floor joist leveled and assembled um, then the second day I did the uh, floor plywood and built the back wall and stood it up with the siding on because it's about um, it's about 52 inches tall you can actually I'd have to zoom in. You can actually see that the decking is taller than a standard field fence. Uh, if you see there just to the right of the goat, you see a red wire going across. That's a field fence. You can kind of see the electric wire netting. So uh, that was the second day. Um, the third day, actually the second day and today the third day, was done in the evening so you know uh, not able to get as much done as I can on the weekend um, today I got the the wall frame there that's on the left done and I got the frame that's on the floor together but I still need to put the siding on it and stand it up um, those are pretty heavy to do by myself so I'll have to wait until another person comes out which is why I didn't put the siding on now um, you can actually see on this side 
that uh you know it's it's pretty good it's one two three four five six seven eight nine blocks tall in the back those are four by four by 16 cap blocks nine blocks tall in the back three in the front on this end and two in the front on the other side by the existing temporary goat barn goats are all here chickens are over here going to bed rabbits are up there beehives fun fun I need to thank my friend Randy who came out to help me with the roof and getting it finished up. So about the time that I was getting the roof finished up, the coronavirus lockdown happened. And although I did get the materials to get the roof done, um, and also got the front door, um, I'm, I'm just still kind of lagging getting it finished up. But one thing I did kind of neat is I actually used some Tough Tex clear panels in the roof. And these are just laid in there temporarily because there was a rain coming. And I plan to also use this for storage in the milk room. Hey everybody, if you're into homesteading, self-sufficiency, living a debt-free lifestyle, wilderness survival, long-distance hiking, or any of the many topics that are on my channel, be sure to like and subscribe.